Hi guys, Chet here. Today I'm going to compare Miro and Draw.io, two standout platforms for visual collaboration and diagramming. I'll break down their features, pricing, user experience, integrations, and more. So by the end of this video, you'll know which one fits your workflow better. And after watching this video, if you decide I wanna go with Miro, then check out the link that I've added in the description. If you use that link, you'll get access to a premium course and some great Notion templates all for free. Just check out my link. Now let's get started. First off, let's check the overview. Miro is a highly popular online whiteboard designed for brainstorming, workshops, design sprints, and agile workflows. It offers an infinite canvas where teams can map out everything from simple flowcharts to complex product roadmaps, all in real time. On the other hand, Draw.io, also known as Diagrams.net, is focused entirely on diagramming. It's a lightweight open source tool best known for creating flowcharts, network diagrams, org charts, and system maps often integrated right into Confluence and Gyra for seamless use inside of Atlassian environments. Next, let's look at features. Miro packs itself with tools like sticky notes, mind maps, templates, video calls, timers, voting, and integrations with Jira, Slack, Trello, and more. It's ideal for design teams, product managers, and agile coaches who need robust collaboration features. Meanwhile, Draw.io offers unlimited diagrams, AI-driven diagramming, real-time collaborative editing, revision history, and seamless integration with Confluence and Jira. If you're focused on diagramming inside Atlassian tools, Draw.io is unmatched. But if you want a general collaboration space with diagrams as just one piece, Miro has the edge. Now let's talk about user experience. Miro has a modern and easy to use interface, but with so many features, it can feel like a lot at first. It takes some time to learn, but once you do, it is a powerful workspace for all kinds of teams. On the other hand, Draw.io keeps things simple and focused on diagramming. It's easy to use, even for beginners, plus it works well with tools that many teams already use, making it very convenient. When it comes to integrations, Miro connects with more than 100 apps like Asana, Google Drive, Microsoft, Teams, and Notion. This makes it a very flexible option for teams using lots of tools already. Draw.io, on the other hand, is built into Atlassian's ecosystem. It works perfectly with Confluence and Jira, which makes it a great pick for teams already using these platforms. Now let's talk about pricing. Miro has a free plan. Starter plan is $8 per member per month. Business $16 per member per month. And Enterprise has custom pricing. Draw.io has cloud and data center models. Both come with unlimited diagrams, Jira and Confluence integration, AI-based diagramming, collaborative editing, revision history, 24-hour support response time, and strong security. Specific pricing, though, depends on how many users you have and your setup. So, which one should you choose? Well, if you want an all-around whiteboarding and collaboration tool that can handle everything from brainstorming to workshops, Miro is your go-to. But if you need a dedicated diagramming solution that works seamlessly inside of Atlassian, Draw.io is the better pick. It really just comes down to your team's needs and where you already do your work. All right, that's it for this video. If you found it helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.